For the 14th year in a row, West Lane Secondary and surrounding schools walk to fight AIDS. While the event only takes up a couple of hours, the funds will have a lasting impact through the Stephen Lewis Foundation. We were inspired 14 years ago by a talk that Stephen Lewis gave to the entire school board staff and we've continued with this commitment for this many years. It's an important issue, it's a global issue, it's not one that's going away and in any small way that we can help, we want to help. What's it like to see this fundraiser have evolved? It's incredibly inspiring to see new generations of students year after year committing to this. Uh, this year we're so happy to say that we have over 100 West Lane students participating. We have students from all of our feeder schools. And it's just a tradition now at West Lane. You go to the AIDS walk. And how will today's walk work? Uh, we have walked from West Lane to here. We're going to be meeting up with our grade 8 students from James Morden, from Greendale, and from Forest View. And then we have a program of events that will actually be featuring Wayne Gates and Kim Crater. We'll be both giving regards. And we actually do have two grandmothers from South Africa that are representing the Stephen Lewis Foundation. What's it like to be at the event here today? Oh, I like this event because it's dealing with children, the, the grandchildren of ourselves. And the event is very important because it's fundraising for the Stephen Lewis Foundation, which it is a foundation that is supporting South, uh, South Africa and Southern Africa on the pandemic of HIV and AIDS. And can you give me a bit of insight into the pandemic that's in South Africa right now? Since they have done the rollout of HIV, it's not as it was before. Because even the education that we are giving the young people is very important because we go to schools and do the, the education of how to protect yourself from HIV and AIDS. You must condomize. Those who are carrying the virus must, get, must be strict to use the treatment every day. And also check the CD4 count and check your immune system how it goes about, like Treatment Action Campaign and other organizations that are dealing with the pandemic. What brings you out here today? Uh, well, my math teacher, Mrs. Shaw, um, she likes to make the AIDS walk something big. And, you know, my grandma's here, love grandmas, and I know it would be hard for her if she had to raise a bunch of kids and didn't have the resources, so I want to help other grandmas so that grandchildren can be lucky like me. And this isn't your first year participating in the walk. What do you like most about it? Um, I just like being able to come out with like my friends and like we know we're helping people and it's just fun you know we get to come out here and walk and we're singing and dancing and it's just it's fun. Thanks so much to Kojiko for your support over the years you guys have been with us for 14 years as well and we really appreciate it and we hope to add, do 14 more. This year's walk raised $1,700 pushing the fundraiser over 25000 in the last 14 years. In Niagara Falls reporting for The Source, I'm Brendan Sylvia.